This is a HeadGum Podcast. Here's a question. What is care slash of? Care of is a monthly subscription vitamin service made from effective quality ingredients, personally tailored for your exact needs. So I got an email and they were like, take this quiz. So I took a quiz, super easy, super fun, super chill, lots of pictures, truly kept me engaged, bright colors, good for me. And it literally designed the vitamins that I should be taking. And truly I read through it and I was like, this is right. I should be taking these vitamins. And there's tons of benefits to vitamins. So even if you try to maintain a healthy diet, guess what? It can be hard to get all those nutrients your body needs for long-term health. Vitamins also fill the important gaps that your body is missing from your diet. And get this, 90%. It's a lot of people. That's almost all the people. They fall short of the FDA recommended guidelines for at least one vitamin or nutrient. Also, the recommendations are built on clinical research with traditional medicine, with input from doctors and nutritionists. It includes individually wrapped packets with your specific vitamins and supplements for easy grab and go. Because you can't be shaking stuff out of bottles being like, what's this and the other thing? Nope, these are just wrapped up for you. And guess what? It costs about 20% less uh, when compared to similar brands at drugstores and local health food stores. So for 25% off your first month of personalized Care of Vitamins, visit careof.com and enter the promo code DATEME for 25%. I'm saying it again because you might have missed it, but you get 25 to 5% of your first month of personalized vitamins via Care of. Visit Take care of dot com. The promo code is date me. What a treat. You'll be swallowing big old vitamins in no time. Bye bye. Why won't you date me? 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 It's a podcast where I try to figure out why I'm so fucking single, even though I'm like, truly, I'll suck your dick for days. I'll back that ass up. I will do so many things to to have a boyfriend, and it's just not working. Anywho, my guest today, ooh-wee, what a fucking treat. I love him so much. We've done improv together. He's on a sketch team called The Birthday Boys. They had a show on IFC. He's on the show Love on Netflix. He's just the best. His name is Mike Mitchell. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Mitch, 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 Mitch. Thank you for having me. That was Thank the best you. intro I've ever had in my life. That's great. <laughs> Mitch, thank you so much. Of course. For being here. Um, it's a pleasure. You're one of the funniest. You're one of the greats. Ah, oh, Mitch, you're one of the greats. <laughs> Mitch and I recently did an improv scene together that made zero sense, but was very funny. I agree. That sounds like <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> uh, so, Mitch, are you single right now? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, are you on any dating apps? I am, yeah. I yes. Are I am you on, on Tinder? Dating. You're on Tinder, Bumble. I was on t- yes. I am on Tinder and Bumble. But I don't. I don't really look at them too much anymore. <laughs> uh, why have you given up? <sighs> I don't know. I I don't know if I want to. Like I, I I've have gone on dates and I and I and and and, and like recently I've gone on dates mm-hmm. and I've dated. Do you do you really want a relationship? Do you want that? <laughs> I do. I've come to a point in my life uh-huh. where I would like to. So, OK, I don't I'm not down on the whole like, oh, I have to like call and text someone every single day. Yeah. But then I think it would be nice to have someone call and text me every single day. Uh huh. Uh, and then, yeah, like it would be nice to be like, oh, Friday night. I don't have to like make plans. I could hang out with this dummy that I'm dating or like I'm horny. I can fuck this dummy I'm dating. Yeah. You so I got a question for you. When you're, you're using those apps, you don't go out on multiple dates. I feel like everyone does. I do. Okay, yeah. What do you mean? 
Like that that's that's the weird question of like, are you like officially seeing oh, someone? For me, if we go on three or more dates, I'm seeing you. I got you. But I'll go okay. out on another date with somebody else too. Mm-hmm. But if I'm like truly feeling you, me myself, I may stop seeing other people. Yeah. And then if it's like progress more than like a month or something, then I'll bring up like, Hey, are you still like dating other people? And they're like, Yes. Yeah. I'm like, Oh, okay, this is more serious than it is. I I, I I'm like at the, I, I, I get what you're saying, too, but mm-hmm. I feel like I'm at the point where I want to make sure that this is someone like I really am invested in and like. Mm-hmm. So that's my thing right now is like I'm like, but th- you know what? I'm I'm very weary of everyone. So it's hard. Uh-huh. It's hard. And also, I like to be alone. I figured that out recently. Oh, you do like to be alone. I like to be alone. I like to sh- I like to have a big bed to myself. It's great. <laughs> I don't I don't want to share a, like sharing a bed. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm. Like when when I first when you first meet a girl or something or a guy mm-hmm. and like my stomach hurts because like I, I like I, like I'm afraid or nervous or something mm-hmm. and don't want to go to the bathroom in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, yeah, you don't want to take a shit in front of you don't I don't the wanna, person you're trying to. I don't fuck. Wanna, you don't want to take a shit around them. You're holding stuff in. You, your stomach hurts. <laughs> then you share this bed and it's a tight space. And then you can't fart. You and, can't fart. Yeah. You, you can't fart in your bed. You get it, it, You have to like get up. You have to get to up. To like the kitchen to fart. Yes. It's yes. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Going to the t- kitchen to fart. Like and then like <laughs> you go to the kitchen to turn on like the sink to fart or something. Like it's su- and they're like, why did you go to the kitchen at four a.m. and turn and on the? Like I don't know. I needed to hear the water. Yes. Yeah. And I, I my place you can hear every room. It's 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 bad. So yeah. And I, I got two cats. They sleep in my bed. I don't know. I, I like. I, I like my own bed. It's, it, I like my I like my own bed, and I like to sleep. What I need size, my sleep. What size bed do you have? I got a queen size bed. Okay, maybe you got to get a California. king. I might have king. to get a California king at some point. I think I need a. I think I need a king size bed. Yeah, I have a full size bed right now. Like no, I, have, I know that's so bad. What I, the fuck? <laughs> I know, and it's. I think so- we just first of all, we I think we figured out this whole show. I'm single I'm, because I sleep on a full size bed. I think bed. you need to get that king size bed. I think it would have a I think it would help. Well, at least it's not a twin time. bed. Here's yeah. why I have well, a Well, yeah, if you had a, if you bought a twin you, you moved to California. I would be a sociopath if I was like <laughs> I would just sleep on my twin bed with just me. <laughs> have you ever have you dated anyone out here who's had a twin I like I can't think of anyone who's no. had a twin bed. No, I haven't dated anyone out here with a twin bed. I think you know, I think I I think I know two people who might have a twin bed, so I shouldn't say really? that. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're a sociopath. Both of them are crazy <laughs> people. I fucked a dude in New York who had a twin bed. He was doing a terrible Obama impression. And mm-hmm. I was like, I'll go home with you. And I was on top of him. He's like, let's switch. And he was like, you know, trying to get it in. It was not working because he was not hard. He was just trying to like mash his limp dick in me. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, move. And I was like, what? He was like, move. So then I moved, and then he just started power puking into the bed. Oh, my God. It was awful. And then I was like, oh. He was like, don't look at me. <laughs> was he doing this all in an Obama voice? Or I no? wish. I wish. <laughs> no, he had uh, transitioned to his own dumb voice. Yeah. And then Bummer. I lost my bra. I, like, I was getting dressed too quick, and I left my bra there, and it was my good Wait, hold bra. Wait, on. You're getting... Okay. It was lost before you were getting dressed too quick. Like, well, I that was, sounds like I, zany cartoon... <laughs> Like a cloud of dust was around whoa, you as you were throwing stuff no. on. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I got my clothes on. I mean, kind of. I kind of live my life like a cartoon. <laughs> Anytime I'm moving, I'm moving too much. I know. I know this. I know this about you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here's here's what I have to say about yes. about all this. Is why you don't need a re- you don't need a relationship. <laughs> you don't need one. Sure. No, I don't. But I want one. <sighs> I'm tired of fucking different people. Mm-hmm. I was fucking the same person on and off for a, a while. Yeah. And it was nice because I knew what he liked. He knew what I liked. It was great. He just was a bad. He was bad to me. And I would like someone who's good to me who knows what I want. Yeah. I want someone to fucking uh, press on my butt when they fuck me. <laughs> Just, uh, you know. <laughs> to press on your butt? You can find that easy. I think anyone would do that. Yeah, but, like, I just, I want someone to come back for seconds. Yeah. Like, it's depressing when you sleep with someone. And you're like, ooh, I think I might like you. And mm. then they're like, bye-bye. I don't want it. Yeah. 
There, and I, then, I, I mean, like I, I'm, I'm guilty of that too. But the, the lot, and but, and I gotta say, like a lot of that can can come from weird. So you know what I mean, like. Mm-hmm can come from weird places and like like I, I i it's it's hard it's it's very hard to date someone and feel comfortable with someone a lo- like always for me mm-hmm. and and i feel i would i would like to hope that a lot of those guys aren't just trying to like fuck and then take off but i'm sure that some of them I are i feel like all of them are yeah. and then even the ones that and then i feel like dudes do this weird thing where i can very much disconnect like sex and like love i can uh-huh. fuck someone that i don't love or even like oh wow. and okay. i don't need you to so like i fucked this dude recently and then he like walked me to my car and then like hovered and i was like this is never gonna go past this and i know it mm-hmm. so why are you why are we pretending you're not you don't have to like console well, see- me i'm fucking fine but Okay, so he, he 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 did he want more out of it? You think? I don't know, but he like walked me in a car and was just like, mm-hmm. "Hey, uh, this was nice." Uh, but, like just talking too much, and I was like, "Bye," and I had like mm-hmm. rolled down my window because I was like, "What are you saying? What, what is this? I'm done. I'm I I'm, I'm finished. You you are out of me. I am going home." But those see that's some of the same. So you're you you've done the same thing before in your life. Yeah, but like I knew that he wasn't gonna call me. Yeah. So, like, why are we pretending that you're going to call me? Like, why mm-hmm. are we pretending that it's going to go past a one night stand? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it, I think it's all true. I think people get in their heads. We're all weirdos is the issue. I guess so. I, and uh, like, I've, I, I, I had, I'd slept with someone and it was like one time and then we, and then like didn't hang out with them again. And I felt very bad because I was in a bad place and I liked that person. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, I was like, oh, I would have dated that person. And I got hit with ghost. I was, I was, I got a ghost. She said, you kind of ghosted me. And I felt terrible yeah. about it forever. You should. Yeah. Ghosting people is terrible. Yeah. Because I don't know you, so you can't hurt my feelings. Yeah. If some dude was just like, oh, we date, date, date. Or like, mm-hmm. even if we fucked and then he was like, that was great. This is never going to happen again. I would yeah. laugh. <laughs> I would laugh so hard and be like, great. I'm glad. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> That's what see, but I, I I didn't even intentionally ghost. I just feel like I was like depressed at the time, and I liked mm-hmm. that person. And I feel like that there's so many factors. There's a sure. billion factors that go into it. But also, you shouldn't want to date anyone. You should be single. <laughs> you should just keep ha- having. F- you're funny. You're young. You. you can do whatever you want to do. Thank you. Yeah. I I I just want consistent dick in my life. I want to wake up, <laughs> roll over, and be like, let me have it. <laughs> and I want him to go, okay, yes, please. We were on an improv team together, yes. like you said. And you definitely, I think, had the, the strongest sex drive of anyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like I generally have the strongest sex drive just in general. I think mine is like a blip above zero. And so then, you don't need to have sex? Uh, I mean, uh, you know this. I was a late bloomer. and, yes. and, and So I was a late bloomer. And I was always frustrated by it. I've, I've, uh-huh. always, I've always been frustrated by it. And then I think that, that like a lot of that stuff of like, oh, I like am kind of like putting my toe in the water or something. I think a mm-hmm. lot of that comes from being like, oh, this has to be the perfect person. But you, some, uh, like uh, that this is something that I've been trying to like unlearn is like, oh, you, you like you can't. Especially right away, you can't be expecting to like have the perfect mm-hmm. the, or the not perfect, but the ideal person or whatever. I feel like we put people on pedestals too. Uh-huh. You're just like, I want this person to be perfect. Oh, this person came about. Oh, they're fucking perfect. And then we they disappoint you. You're like, oh, well, yeah. that sucks. Yeah. So you do you have better? Uh, do you do better online or in person meeting women? Hmm. I don't know. I, I I I can I can text pretty well on them. I don't. I I feel like when I when I I don't know. I can talk to someone. I can. Mm-hmm. But then like I feel like over the course of time, th- there's a, there's a few different things. I feel like in our in our world, one is that you're busy and have a weird like schedule always, mm-hmm. and I feel like that has been the kind of a pain in the ass lately. And like, and then when I'm outside of that. I do I like I said I like to be alone. So that's mm-hmm. so th- those are those are two big annoying things with So me. why are you dating someone if you like to be alone? I don't know cuz I don't want to be alone forever, you know what I mean? Like and, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> Yeah, that's like a double-edged sword. 
Because I like being alone, but I don't want to be alone forever. I don't want to be alone forever. I mean that that that's 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 kind of what's what's in my head. But I I I have wrestled with where I'm like, oh, I should, maybe I should not date anyone. Maybe mm-hmm. I should just kind of. And I would be I would be okay with that. You can always, Nicole. You can always masturbate. Is the thing. <laughs> you can <laughs> always masturbate, but I will say this: mm-hmm. I like the pressure of someone on me, and that you we gotta get you a gravity blanket. <laughs> What the fuck is a gravity blanket? It's like one of those blankets, like I think from like that they use like in space, that like is like uh, a. <laughs> oh no! That weighs like they oh, weigh like God. Tw- they weigh like twenty pounds or whatever. So I could get a gravity blanket and then like a sex doll <laughs> and then be like this is my boyfriend. This is great. That works. Why not? I mean, I I, I feel like people. It's just so tricky, and I, and and I I don't like dating around. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like. And and I feel like if it's I want it to be someone who I really like and and that's and that's mm-hmm. what I've that's what I've tried to figure out. So it's very hard to find someone that you like. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm truly on the men are trash train. Yeah. Hey, get get a, like, all aboard. Women are men also are pretty trash lately. The worst. <laughs> yeah. Women are bad, but like I just men just be assaulting and stuff, and it's not. <laughs> It's awful. Yeah. But I, that being said, I want a boyfriend. Like, I want I want a man. I mm-hmm. want a big old dick. And I want to get railed every night. That's, like, what I want. Yeah. And then I was like, maybe I should just, like, hire prostitutes. But then I was like, sex is free. Yeah. It's a free thing that anybody can do. Yeah. So paying for it, it's not even a moral thing. It's just, like, a, well, I yeah. don't like paying for water as is. So, like. Water's a necessity. We all need water. Well, I was gonna, yeah, I was going to say, that's the thing. You said that you can't, I mean, I know that you can get laid easily. Yes. Which I think that I've, I always found it difficult to, to, to really? do that. I, for a very, very long time, I thought it was very hard. I feel like all anyone would have when to I was, do When I was younger, yes. Is see you do a show, and then you could have your pick of any of these No, that's tricks. not really how you, I feel like. Are you I, sure? No, I, at least I never take, I, I mean, I also feel weird about stuff. St- stuff a lot like i don't want to i don't want to feel like <laughs> that like f- for in, like i feel like there's like friend boundaries and then like okay things with shows and stuff like that yeah but yeah. if it's like a not friend just like yeah. a fan who sees a show and she's like oh my god you're so funny i've never gone funny. home with someone like that in my entire life is it like purely on principle or because it's happened you've been hit on after shows yeah I don't know. It, it's kind of strange, right? I don't know. Like, uh, it is. It's it can be weird. Yeah. And I do feel like a lot of the audience members are like younger. Yes. You're like, ugh, this like young person is is, is feeling me. And also, like, I feel like a lot of the times when it's someone who will do that, I'm like, this person seems strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know that I'm right Fair. on that. Yeah. Yep. There are a lot of weirdos who see shows, but I'm very thankful that they come out. Mm-hmm. I want you to look at my Tinder. Okay. And I want you to let me know what you think of wow, it. Wow, this is like, God, handing over your Tinder is like. I am. Oh, boy, I just got a message that says, and I've got a fat cock, so. But what does that mean? So what? Is that in response to something in your profile? Uh, You'll and, see. All right. So, I, I think your first picture is great. Thank you. Oh, also. If you want to see what Mitch is seeing, you can go to my Facebook fan page, and I have the pictures of my Tinder and Bumble profile up there. It is Nicole Byer Comedy, and it's on Facebook.com. The, the second part in your profile makes me laugh because I'm. it says you're less than a mile away, which is right. You're in my hands, literally. Um, uh, that would be creepy if it said in your hands. I love that you said, <laughs> I'm less than a mile away. I am in your hands. <laughs> Can I say what's on here? Yes, please. Uh, I got a, so it is in response. I knew I see so you, you said I got a fat ass. So if you're not <laughs> into it, and then you got you have the wave goodbye hands, uh, which is funny. I like that. Um, Thank and then you. this this second line is very like um, I like it. It's just it's very sincere. Um, I like people with a sense of humor because life is too fucking long not to laugh. It That's is. Good. Life is so long. <laughs> <laughs> 30 days in that's a just, month that's just that's just it's a very n- nice honest thing i feel like <laughs> thanks and then dtf down to figure skate or fuck or farm or fly a kite whichever is easier <laughs> i like that a lot one interest your one interest is your show <laughs> <laughs> 
That's your one interest? <laughs> I think it's because it's linked to my uh, Facebook page. I think all your pictures are great. And I like uh I think I think all your pictures are great. I think you look great in each one. Thank you. I think it's a I think it's a yeah, it's a like I, I put up pictures I feel like that sometimes I don't like I need to change some of my pictures because I'm like, this is like five years old and I'm Can like, I see your Tinder profile? Pro- no. What is this? Is this a trick? No <laughs> way on. on earth. Let me see your Tinder profile. Uh-uh. Oh, no. no. Is this a trick? No, no Mitch way. Mitch said earth. no, is this a trick, but pulled his phone out. <laughs> I'm I I'm I'm not I I this is Look, like you said, you, do you hate this? You don't have to show it to me. It's fine. Are just my profile or what? What? I, I'm not going to go through your messages. Okay, hold on. That's wild. That would be so inappropriate. This is my picture. Aww. That's this is the best I'm going to give you. You look cute. Show me another one. But I feel like I'm fatter even. Mitch it's literally won't thin. let me hold his phone. You feel like you're fatter now? Yeah. And then there's one that I put that like I was like, this is like a cute picture of me, probably like my last one. Uh huh. But I'm but I am I'm too thin in it. I feel like I got to update with some fat photos, but. You're I don't know the, if girls want. You look great. Yeah, thank you. You're and nice I to me. And I think your first picture looks like you. Yeah, and then my profile is nothing. I literally didn't fill out anything. <laughs> it says film and television, and then upright citizens brigade under it. <laughs> oh, get that out I of know, there! I know. I don't even know why that's in there. That's oh, terrible. probably because it's on your Facebook. Show me yeah. another picture. Show me that last one of you being adorable. See, but you're gonna say like, "Oh, you were thinner." <laughs> I think from that picture, you know, you're a big boy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I'm, you're not lying to anybody. Yeah, there's you're, no doubt that I'm a big boy. Yeah, there's no like over like overhead shots of you like you know like glamour shots of yeah, it. Duck facing. Yeah, right? duck. That... Yeah, duck lips and <laughs> God, who are we? <laughs> you know the duck lips. I know. And, uh, sounds... you no know, wonder why we don't. The we're... beaver hats and I, I don't know. <laughs> we're not dating because we're a hundred years old. <laughs> Uh, Very old people who like being alone. I want to swipe on some people for you. Please do. Is this real? I can really swipe? You absolutely can. And please describe them as you swipe. Okay. Let's see here. All right. You got to push the the little flame. The little flame. Yes. Okay. This guy, I'm not going to. Oh, gross. He he, can get out of here. He looks like one of the, the. Okay. Elliot seems like a nice guy. Okay. The guy that Mitch swiped no on had glasses and a hat and he was on a hiking trail and looks like he just murdered somebody. This guy also looks like he hikes though. I don't know, the, okay. the one with the sunglasses. How old is he? He's 23. 23, sunglasses, he's in a car with a friend. Yeah, what do you think? Why not? Why not? This could be a fun one for you. Sure. I'll get in a convertible. It's a match. You match. I, I, I match with everybody on Tinder. You, 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 I, you ma- I, I feel like all these. All right, Rick is kind of, should I, I guess it's just their first name. Who yeah, cares? it's fine. Rick. He's a guy who works out. He's got a car. Okay. He looks like he might kill you. No, Rick will definitely kill me. Yeah, he might kill Rick you. Rick literally has a menacing look into the camera. He's wearing a black tank top. Uh-huh. Don't ever swipe right on a man in a black tank top. <laughs> All right, we have a guy here, Armand. Ooh, Armand. He's got a picture with, uh, what's her name, from Beverly Hills 90210. Oh, um, I know Armand. Oh, do you really? Yes, I actually... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he's an actually, actor yes he she's the president of sag aftra and he like is uh, he's a part of sag aftra like in the elections or something wait really he was elected to something yeah i know our mom swipe right no, swipe right let's see okay. if we match no match yet oh wow Armand, what the fuck that honestly okay so when you see people you know do you swipe right on them yeah i do i, I like i said i don't really use it too much uh, oh god uh, all right yes the answer is yes i do a lot of the time i whenever i see someone i know i swipe right on them just to see if they swipe if yeah. they swiped right on me then that is a weird thing because what if one of you like like what if one of you like does genuinely like oh, each other then we can talk about it and it's fine because we're yeah, both adults that's true okay that's i fair. really subscribe to the school of like i'm an adult i'm gonna say what i mean i mean what i say <laughs> An email just popped up about your Amazon.com order of Perrier sparkling water. Fancy <laughs> stuff, Nicole. I'm a real bougie bitch. Also, my dog is a vegan. I uh, get him vegan food. Oh, my God. What's happening? Okay, here's the reason. It's because his dog food, whatever I was feeding him, he, it made him really itchy. And then the oh, vet yeah. was I've heard like, of this before, yeah. Yeah, the vet was like, it's something in the food. Uh, you could uh, give him meat different meats to see how they affect him and i was like i don't have time for that you're now a vegan (laughs) (laughs) 
or a vegetarian. He eats some <laughs> animal byproducts. He eats better than I do. I would eat. He eats better than I do. I'm going to sneak in your house. I'm going to dress up as your dog and sneak <laughs> in your house. Uh, Honestly, if you did that, it would be such a treat. <laughs> All right, Prince. Yes, you swipe right on people named Prince. Cuffing season is here, and I'm still single as fuck. Cuffing season makes no sense to me. Do you know what cuffing season I mean, is? I think it's like like the fall or winter. You, yes, you, it's you cold, settle down, so you, you like down. get somebody to fuck until it's summer. I feel like I've always, even like when I like didn't like couldn't date anyone and I was a failure. Like uh, I, <laughs> I feel like even in like the fall and winter time, I would do better because I'm like bear like, and I feel like they're like I'm gonna like. They're like, Settle I'm down for the winter get with warm this guy. With this man. <laughs> exactly. I well, hate. I hate. I don't. I don't like the summer out here. This guy also says, "Let's hit the beach," which for me, no. I don't know if I would like that. I don't want to hit the beach. Yeah. I'll go to the beach once or twice. He, I think he's a good-looking guy. The first picture of him is, is not great. No. If that's I, but hold on. Hold on. Heavily filtered. And then here's him. He's oh, in the red that's there. Not that bad. He's that's not a bad-looking like guy. A filter. Too many filters means you're hiding something. He's got abs on him. No, do I don't think? want that. And he looks like he's in some sort of boy uh, band. Yeah, you got to swipe right on that. He <laughs> he and all his friends are in all white. All right, he's get, he's getting swiped right. And then this guy is I kind of want to swipe right oh, on this guy right off the bat. He looks sad. This man looks so sad. Christopher <laughs> has his hand his head in his hand and a just a giant frown. What does his profile say? I'm the saddest little boy in America. <laughs> Let's go to a cafe and talk, but not for too long because I get tired. <laughs> I'm going to swipe right on this guy. Please do. He's not He's a bad looking so guy. so sad. Nicole, what, what are your age filters on this? <laughs> a 57 year old man just popped up on this. It goes from like 21 to 70. Oh, he's he looks like Kevin Bacon. He does kind of look like Kevin Bacon. His last picture is a young pic of him. Okay, he's gone. Did I match with that sad man? Not yet, but oh, I, I'm so sad. I, I feel re- like it's so tricky, though. I feel like sometimes it is tricky. You will, sometimes so, yeah. you match with people later. Yeah. I really hope I match with him. Mm-hmm. All his pictures were so sad. I want to go to a cafe and talk, but not for long because I get tired. <laughs> oh, what a dream! This guy's no. Like, All right, have I have I swiped enough? Should I stop swiping on people? Wait a minute, that man's picture is insane. Yeah, I don't think that's a great one. So this man has like a glamour shot. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a picture of a picture. Do you remember that show MTV's like Fear? No. I remember like they'd go into hospitals and they had like cameras on their necks. No. And like they would be like scared and they'd be running around the, like the, no. like old abandoned hospitals. That's well, then ter- never mind. I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> Do you mean but like. But he looks like he has like one of those camera around the like neck things fear strapped on. Factor? Him. No, it was like called like MTV's like fear or MTV's ghost. I don't know what the hell it was. It was bad. Never ever heard of that. <laughs> There was a there was that one second of silence. There was us handing the phone back to each other. <laughs> yes, we're both little fatties, and we really had to <laughs> rev up to lean forward. Do you? <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. so this has been a very good talk, but we have to take a break, Mitchy Pooh. Oh, okay, of course. And we're back. What a goddamn dream! It's, I'm very excited to be here. I think. I think you. I think things work themselves out. I mean, you know what? That's. What, I remember my dad mm-hmm. said this to me. I think my sister was like, she brought me into it. My sister's like, we're losers. We're never gonna have like, <laughs> be, like we're our boyfriend and girlfriend. Wait, how old is your sister? My, this, but this. She also said this a long time ago. My dad passed away five or, yes. or so years ago. But this is pro. This is probably like a decade or so ago mm-hmm. that this happened. But my sister is like three years older than me. But she was like, and my dad was like, it all will happen in time when it's supposed mm-hmm. to happen. And that's, I feel like that is true. And it's, it's, it's very tricky and dating is very hard. And like you said, it's complicated and icky and, mm-hmm. and, and there's so many factors. It's not whether just you like someone or you don't like someone, it's whether you're ready for it. But yeah, I don't, you don't need to do, you don't need that. You, you, I know, I want it. Yeah. I, I have come to a point where I'm like, I'm a pretty complete person. Mm-hmm. I like who I am. I'm happy with the body I'm in. Mm-hmm. I like what I see in the mirror. And I just want to compliment that. That's where I'm at right now. Would you have dated me, Mike Mitchell, back when we first met on Harold Teams? Yes, I would. You I had would've? a big crush on you. Mm-hmm. 
I was like, ooh, we that Mitch. Mm, mm. <laughs> I would gobble him up. But now I like know you too well. Yeah, I was dating. Also, I was dating my ex-girlfriend at the time. I feel like Though you're I- always like dating and not dating. Like you're yeah. in a constant hill and valley of relationships. It's very hard for me to it's it's hard for me. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's hard for me to com- commit I, like to a mm-hmm. lot. Of, I just Which have a lot of things that go through my head. You got a lot of hang ups. Mitch. Yeah. Would you date me? I here's here's and I would definitely, but here's the issue, <laughs> is that we are, we were friends, and I can't mm-hmm. like what what like how would that like I would dif- disappoint. I mean, this is how I feel a lot of the time. I feel like I would disappoint you in like numerous ways. You could say one, I like to be alone. Mm-hmm. Two, I'm not good at fucking, as you say. Um, <laughs> As I say, I think multiple people, many, hundreds of thousands of people call sex fucking. Yeah, no, I know. I, I'm just, I mean. I, that, As you say. Uh, I feel like. Well, why do you think you're bad at fucking? But then also our relationship would be changed forever. You're right. If we had sex, our our relationship would have changed would forever. very, very different. Uh-huh. And I, I don't buy into the whole, like, we could be friends. We could yeah. be friends after that. Yeah. Because I, mean, I consider you a friend, and mm-hmm. then if if that's, I, I mean, like, I'd still, it, but it would be different. It would be a different thing. It would be thing. very, very yeah. different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would very much change our dynamic. I don't think we could be as easy breezy as we are together. Yeah. Uh, but that's nice to know that you would date me. <laughs> I don't think, do you really think you're bad at sex? I'm not great at sex. What do you mean? Has I, a girl ever been like, what was that? No, probably because I'm like apologizing beforehand <laughs> and then afterwards too. You come and you're like, oh, I'm sorry. That li- probably the last time I came, is I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mitch, <laughs> you got to like enjoy. Do you enjoy sex or is that too real of a question? Huh. <laughs> Do I enjoy sex? I'll tell you what I like better than sex. Food. Food. Yeah. Yeah. Food beats sex. We, I mean, like, I feel like if it's like going, I feel like if I'm like, like feeling it and in mm-hmm. the right mood, then it, then it can hit. Like, I, I feel like I need to do a, like make changes so that sex is more enjoyable for me. Sure. And I feel like, cause like, I, and, and I feel like also that's that, like, that's a big part of, of dating too is, is like feeling comfortable and uh-huh. stuff. And that, and that can be tricky because, like you said, it's a, it's a different world and environment now and stuff like that. And if like, mm-hmm. if you're, if you're having sex, that's like a, can be a big commitment but then also some people don't think it is and and, but like but for one thing is for sure is that it's definitely a factor in a relationship definitely yes and 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 whether it you know you feel good people and connect or whatever and if the parts all fit or whatever Mm -hmm. i feel like but like um that's just gross way to say it but what no that's not gross that's true the parts have to fit yeah and also another reason i don't think we could date is i think we would I had this uh, same thought with Jacob Waisaki. Mm-hmm. We would eat ourselves to death <laughs> because neither of us would be ashamed that we're like, I'm going to eat all of this right now. I'd be like, oh, great. Good. I'm going to eat this right now. And we would just sit and eat and play with your cats and die. With with, with my ex, it was like, it would be like on Friday or something, a Friday night. And I'd be like, let's stay in and order Domino's, like mm-hmm. a ton of Domino's. Mm-hmm. And then we would happily eat Domino's. Uh-huh. Like all night and like watch uh-huh. movies or play video games and I, that that to me like yeah that's scary and, and yes. like yeah yeah I know yes. but also like it's that funny thing of like do you do you want to be with someone who wouldn't do that because exactly. then that sucks because then if I'm like let's order a bunch of Domino's and be nasty together and if they're like actually let's like go for a walk I'd be like oh uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> that's the opposite of what I want to do I feel like you get to be with someone who then on like a Sunday mo- afternoon or something is like let's just go for a walk around the block or something that's fine yeah that would be fine I could date someone who'd be like great I'll be a little fatty with you yeah and then like that's what that's what Sunday I need Sunday yeah. or like Saturday be like hey we were very fat last night yeah we have to do something not fat Yes. Okay. I, I feel like and I, we can be fat again tomorrow. Y- yes, and but that was the issue is that I would be fat every. Uh, I, you're right. Maybe we would eat. We we eat, would eat, eat each eat other ourselves. to death because mm-hmm. I there is no way I'm ever gonna go. All right, Mitch. We ate two hundred dollars worth of Domino's last night. Let's take a walk today. I would be like, do you want to like double that order? I don't know. You and I did a fucking <laughs> chicken nugget power hour. That is true. 
You, me, and Gabrus and Weiger just munching away on lukewarm chicken nuggets. <laughs> yes. How many? Because I, 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 Gabrus ate. Gabriel's ended up eating more than he ate we, 62 or 63. 60, he ate 62 or 63. <laughs> and I tapped out right close to 50, I believe. Yeah, like 47 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 47, 48. Weiger yeah. tapped out at like 30 or 20. I something? think he was like maybe even like 20. He was like, I I'm tapped done. out at 15. I was so disappointed in myself. Yeah, what the fuck happened? I know. I think what had happened was I had not eaten McDonald's in about two years. Mm-hmm. And. I hadn't eaten any fast food besides Shake Shack and In and Out in like two, three years. Okay. And I think that just like the the grease, the McDonald's grease was like just like a block in my stomach, and I was like, "Oh, I <laughs> can't do it." I was so disappointed in myself. I was. I'm saying this like I'm disappointed in you, but also like that's good. It should have. This. It, it was it, like you should have slowed down. You shouldn't have had more than fifteen. <laughs> that's that's perfect. Yeah, but ooh wee, mm. I. I used to love McDonald's chicken nuggets. Of I course. also used to love my favorite meal at McDonald's is a double quarter pounder, no pickles, no onions, no mustard. Oh, come on. Leave it all on. No, I don't like any of that shit. Right, I don't want to eat a burger where like the the bun is soft, the meat's juicy and then the crunch of a pickle? Like that's <laughs> disconcerting. It's like what is this foreign object in my burger? <laughs> I hate pickles. They're so fucking gross. I like pickles. Ugh. And then you can't even take them off a burger because your burger is tainted with pickle juice. Oh my god. You hate pickles? Pickles are fucking disgusting. Hmm. Pickles are just old. Well, maybe we're working between us. I, I, there could <laughs> what, be other do you reasons. you love pickles? If you were like every time we got something with pickles on it, you're like, I don't want pickles on it, I'd be like, this sucks. Why? I want a pickle lady. <laughs> <laughs> you you could eat my pickles. All right, that's that's. Fair. I would say I don't want the pickles. Can you put, put them, them on separate? Half? Yeah. So he can eat those pickles. I mean, what is this scenario? We're like sharing like a big <laughs> sandwich or something. I don't know what the fuck this is. Anyways, hi. Uh, we're very big, and we would like the biggest sandwich you have. <laughs> Oh, we're going to eat it all night long and then try to have sex, but be too full. Yes. That's another thing, too. Being full. <laughs> about, here, here's here's my question to you. Would you would you date someone that was like, because in my mind, like someone who's like vegan or or like has like a very different oh, diet for me. I've thought about that before, too. I don't, I don't know. think I could date a vegan. Yeah. I was a vegan for a hot second. And Damn, that's it, crazy. for like a month, it was bad. Actually, I've been a vegan twice in my life. I was a vegan mm-hmm. in high school. No, sorry, vegetarian, because I drank strawberry milkshakes and ate French fries. And my parents fucking let me do that. And I was like, <laughs> thinking back, I'm like, you guys wanted me to be fat. Like, the, you wanted this, yeah. this life for me. Uh, but that was. They, it was different <laughs> back then. People didn't know as much. I guess. Also, you know what? It's just hard. Sometimes you just gotta give a kid fucking McDonald's. It's hard. Yeah. And now that's like looked down upon, like very much so. Yeah. They're like, why can't you cook your child a full meal? And it's like, I don't know. I work fucking seventy two hours a week Mm -hmm. because the minimum wage won't go up, and there's no middle class. Yeah. And I don't want that's. I don't want a kid. I mean, that's another thing too. Do Do you not want kids? I don't know if I want one. I don't know. I would maybe have one one day, but I don't want one now. That's for I don't sure. want kids at all. Yeah. And people keep saying, Nicole, when you get older, mm-hmm. it's going to change. But I don't. The yeah. only thing that might change is if I hit 50, yeah. 55-ish, and I don't have a husband, I'm going to go to like some orphanage and find the gayest kid there, adopt <laughs> him, and then he'll be my... Travel companion and we'll be I don't fabulous know. together. By the way, I don't know if you could just go what? to an orphanage and ask for, for the gayest kid for the available. gayest kid in the orphanage. <laughs> I'm sorry, which kid is doing the most? I want that one. <laughs> That's Why yeah, not? you can but always is that you can not always politically correct. I can't just ask for the gay kid. Hey, you're the one who said it's a scary Give world me out the there. Gay orphan, please. <laughs> one gay orphan. <laughs> I guess I can't do that. That would be wild. But that's honestly what I want. Just like a fabulous little boy just to travel mm-hmm. with me. And I I don't want to like put him in school because I feel like the other children will taint him. Yeah. I'll teach him what he needs to know. A homeschooled kid? I'll teach him everything he needs to I know, know. I know very normal homeschool people, but. Do you? I don't. Yeah. I don't want him to be normal. I want him to be so fabulous that people are like, he's transcendent. <laughs> Well, you can always, you can. See, that's that's how I feel. I could adopt a child if 
I think I mean, that's I guess, what's I think gonna it's happen. Hard too, but I don't know. Yeah. Like I want, I would like a, a companion. Yeah. And my aunt <laughs> adopted a kid. Oh, more or less. I don't know if she wanted a companion, but she was like, I don't know. I have my dogs. I think I want a kid. Yeah. And I was like, Yeah, you literally adopted this kid because you wanted a companion. Like I don't think you wanted to ever be a mom. I think you just wanted a friend. Yeah. And you grow a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, train that friend to be exactly what you want. You're still young enough that it doesn't, it, you're fine. Yeah. I don't think my eggs are nasty yet. Yeah. But I mean, I don't really care. I don't want, I don't, you don't want. You think your eggs are nasty yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your eggs get nasty and bad and you can't have no babies. I, yeah, I don't want to pass a baby through me. Like, I'm mm-hmm. not trying. I was a C-section baby. I think I was also a C-section baby. Yeah, there's no way this head is coming out of. You do have a big head. I have a giant head. Do you, have you always had a big head? I think so. I think that's a part of the reason why I was a C-section baby. Fair. My, they were like, the doctor was like, we need to get this thing out another way. <laughs> Ooh, there is no way that baby's going to come out of your puss. He's going to tear your pussy up. I would love a doctor to say that to a woman. Ooh, we just baby going to tear your pussy up. We got to figure something else out. The hospital was my mom at, at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Hospital where Eddie Murphy played all of the parts. <laughs> he was the nurse. He was the doctor. He was the anesthesiologist. And then he's the baby that comes out of he's the like, vagina ah! at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Birthday Boys comes back to IFC, I think we know we're gonna what put, we're gonna do. Is, we're gonna, gonna do the sketch where you see a baby's head come out of a vagina. <laughs> That's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> That's Eddie Murphy. Oh boy, his, his be... return to comedy. <laughs> he's doing. A birthday boy sketch. <laughs> a birthday boy's revival on IFC. Is it, not, it probably won't happen. But are the birthday boys still birthdaying? We, I mean, like I, I'm, sure we would still do stuff together. But we're, I don't think, like, uh, we're not an active sketch group. Fair. It's we're, tough. We're, we're in the clo- is, We've we've hung up our our your our, sketch comedy wig. Our our wigs. We've hung up our wigs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're listening and don't know who the birthday boys are, they're a very funny sketch group at UCB. Uh, and they have shit on YouTube. And are you guys on Netflix? Is the birthday boy? Yeah, Netflix? it's on Netflix now. You can yeah. watch it on Netflix. I would love it if you watch it because I get those forty nine cent residual checks for <laughs> my <laughs> little part on the first and second season. <laughs> Which actually, is, I feel is like it's probably a pain in the ass for you now to like those checks. No, I love them. Okay, all right, good. I love checks. Yeah, I love money. I love <laughs> money. I. That's another. Hey, dating <laughs> someone. That's a fucking. It's expensive. it's expensive. Dating someone is so expensive. I don't do it. Don't do this. <laughs> don't don't do it. I want steady dick. I uh, <laughs> I always do. You pay for everything, or do you go Dutch? I pay for everything. Really? Yep. Why? I don't know. I kind of insist on it. Why? I don't know. Don't. No. No. I always. I. I feel. I don't. I, I don't know. I feel, yeah. I think it's nice to offer. You can yeah. go, I can pay. But if she goes, oh, no, I can pay half, let her pay half. Yeah. And it's not even like a women are equal type of deal. It's just mm-hmm. like, uh, why do you, why waste your money on something? One, two, if you end up together, everything is 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's a good point. Her money's yeah. your money when you're actually together. So, like, in the whole courting stage, why do you have to pay for everything 100 yeah, is it is it an old fashioned thing that I'm doing? That's it's like a the gentleman super should pay. old fashioned yeah, okay. thing, and it's honestly like on the first and second date. Like if you open a door for me, then I'm like, oh, how nice. Mm-hmm. But then it's just like if you stop opening doors for me, like oh, that's all so fine. Yeah, but as long as like you respect me and you're courteous to me as a person, that's what I appreciate more. I'm gonna provide the dinner. I'm gonna provide the ride. I'm gonna provide the condoms. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't. I never. I never. Like, you never have condoms. I never expect them to have condoms for me. Well, that is yes. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking. Always yeah. have a condom, <laughs> but I always slap out my female condom and suck it in my <laughs> puss. <laughs> just shake it out, and put it right in. I go. All right, time to go. Time to get it in. Condoms are bad. You know. I, they, hey, that's a plus side maybe for dating someone. What? Condoms? You don't have to use condoms. You can. You, you're a Honestly, little more safe, or do you always use them? I don't know. I don't use condoms if I'm like dating, dating somebody. Because yeah. condoms are they're terrible. Yeah, they're bad. They're very gross. Mm-hmm. I hate them. They are gross. They're they they're gross. Yeah, they're- you're putting a fucking balloon on your dick. 
and then putting it inside a person. <laughs> They're so gross. Yeah. But if you're having one night stands and you're bipping and bopping around town, you should mm-hmm. always wear a condom. If you're bipping and bopping, let that be the note <laughs> that we. If you're bipping, if, this, yeah. if you have to sum this up this episode, if you bip and bop, put the little balloon on your dick. <laughs> if you if you bipping and bopping around town, make sure you put that balloon on your dick. <laughs> I think yes, I yeah. If you're bipping and bopping, you gotta. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. But they suck. They're bad. They're, but also, I don't know. I'm just. Like what? tonight, what, if I want to go home and like play video games or something, uh-huh. I feel like when I'm dating, like, like oh, this, now I'm just gonna sound like a child, I guess. <laughs> but like, like I couldn't, I can't. Sometimes you can't do exactly what you want to do. Yes, and I like, I like that freedom. And you I... should, you should love that freedom. It's great. Why are you trying to get me on the train of trying to be alone? Forever? I don't know. Yeah, and, and also why am I? Because you, you, I mean, there's this podcast. I'm should... literally trying to figure out. <laughs> okay, hey Mitch, why do you think mm-hmm. I'm single? Be honest. Hmm. Yeah, put that drink down and tell me. Why do I think you're single? Yeah, be as brutally honest as you can be. Because I don't think that you want to settle for anybody, one. Oh, yeah, okay. You don't want to settle for anybody, which I think is good. I think a lot of people don't want to settle for for someone, but then it can get tricky because... Like I said, then you maybe your 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 expectations are too high or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, I think that you are you're you're wild you're wild, <laughs> and I think that I think that for ner- like if you there's like nerdier guys like me, Ugh. they might be intimidated by that. So I think that some guys are intimidated by you. Maybe I tried yeah. dating one of your fucking friends and he wasn't having it. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, <laughs> if he was probably intimidated by you. He was like, "Oh golly gee whiz, I can't." <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck!" I really wanted him to come on this podcast specifically because get him on. He won't do it. I'm not going to say his name. I know who no, it is. Yeah. Where no one's going to say his name. But we had a fight in an Uber that I would love to hear his side of mm. because my side of it is, I we took an Uber to my house. He was like, we'll share an Uber, I'll, yeah. we'll go to your house, and then I'll take it to my house. In my brain, I was like, oh, yeah, one stop, my place. Yeah. And then we get to my place, and then I was like, come on. He was like, no. And I was like, come on. No. And I was like, why won't you fuck me? <laughs> 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 and I would love to know what was going through his mind then, but he won't He won't come on the podcast, so I'll never know. Hey, careful. We live in dangerous times, like you said. Don't be yelling at this guy. Come inside and fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. I know. I, 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 but but also, you guys kind of had like a relationship, I thought, right? No. Like, no? No. You guys hooked up, though, right? No. Really? No. This is breaking news to me. I didn't tell you we hooked up. I thought you guys had hooked up. I just thought you Unless had hooked up. he said we hooked up. <gasps> I hope he says we hooked up. This is this is surprising. I, I wonder if we're talking up. about the same person. We had a hundred percent talking about the same person. I feel like we are. No, yeah. we didn't. We kissed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We made out, mm-hmm. and then I was like, "Ooh, we baby, let's get that done." And then he was like, "You move too fast." <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "Yeah, I want to move fast on your dick." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and he was like, "Stop it! Make it stop!" <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna write the person's name down, and and you so you can see so I can see if okay. we're talking about the same person. No, that's not who. No. Did so you you hooked are... up with that person? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I thought so. All right. Then put well, it down. Put it down even. here. We made out. We oh. can just wait till the podcast is over. Oh, but I want to know on air. It's fun. <laughs> I want to know right I now. I will literally tell you in six seconds because we're wrapping it up. Okay, all right, fine. Okay, do you have anything you want to plug? Which you should do too if you're bipping and bopping. <laughs> uh... <laughs> if you're bipping and bopping, you got to wrap you it up wrap with that balloon. <laughs> Mitch, do you have anything you, you want to promote? No, nah, I mean, Love is on plug. Netflix. Yes. Birthday Boys is on Netflix. Yes. Uh, any upcoming active projects I have? Uh uh, oh, uh, Doughboys! Uh, Doughboys check out Doughboys, is, which, by the way, is, is great. Th- that's what we're, we're. That's why we were eating. Why, that's why we were having a chicken McNugget eating contest. Oh so yes, you- it wasn't just <laughs> me and my friends having a chicken nugget power hour. <laughs> we were doing it for a podcast called Doughboys, which mm-hmm. is very funny. 
it's on a rival podcasting network. Oh, it's 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 not that big of a rob. We don't. We... <laughs> All right, fine. That's but how it's Joe gonna Boys be. Joe is great. Him, uh, Mitch and Nick Weiger. Him, Mitch and Nick Weiger host it. It's uh, very fun. I get to do it sometimes. Mm. Um. This has been my podcast, Why Won't You Date Me? And if you like it, please subscribe and rate it. And if you rate it, you can write a comment. And if you comment hitting on me, I will read it during a podcast. So if you hit on me and you go, ooh, girl, I know you got feet. Let's take a picture of them toes. I'll re- <laughs> Wait, that's your go-to hitting on you? What the fuck? I'm trying to think because I want them to be like nasty and fun. How about like you look cute? Oh, you want nasty ones. Yeah, you you do one. Usually I read them, but I don't have any good ones uh, um, of recent. Come on, say something nasty to um, me. Hey, Nicole, you look, you look cute in that pic. That's probably what I No, say. Mitch, say something really nasty. Okay. Um, I want to put icing on that ass. Why did I? <laughs> I think I just... <laughs> I also was in doing an impression of you, basically. <laughs> the best part was, <laughs> like, your face, you, like, you gave up midway through. It was very funny. I want to put frosting on that ass. <laughs> so, please, something, I'm in trouble. I something fucked like up. that. Uh, you're perfect, Mitch, and I love you so much. I love Thank you, too. you. Of course. Bye-bye. Bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast.